welcome back to the Real Counter Craft server. Now, in between episodes, we have done a little bit, and I will show you what we have done. Also, in between episodes, we also got this lovely portal gun. We actually got a basic one, and I changed it to the Peabody one uh, from a Magic Clover. We have also you know, obtained a few other things the Red Matter Hammer, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Anything interesting that we have obtained? Let's see. I went out and got some cactuses. Got this, which if I had a pedestal, it would be great to have. We got a divination sigil. Uh, we actually got that from a village. We got a tesseract, though. So, while I have no power yet, it's still something really great to have for later on. Uh, we found some diamonds while mining, and thanks to that, we were able to craft the repair talisman. We also got this from a clover, which has some really interesting abilities I'll be showing you. Uh, I mean, we just really have a lot of random things. Now, let me show you the mine that we've dug, and I'll show you where that path goes to here in a minute. Now, the interesting thing about this red matter hammer is it acts as a weapon, and it acts as a pickaxe of the strength of at least diamond or higher, because we can mine obsidian with it. It actually mines obsidian quicker than the diamonds do. And the funny thing is, is we actually got the diamonds, I think, first. But we've done... A little bitty mine. Dug some stuff out. Yeah, it's like Swiss cheese down here. Nothing too special going on, really. Now, more important, me and Lilith are both kind of aiming towards getting ready to make the change from humanish characters to vampires and a big thing with that has been uh, the the big thing is you want to make sure you have enough food so we teamed up and built a village breeder let me show it to you once we get up here and we set the village breeder up as a feeding station Hope we don't get attacked out here. Been having an issue with uh, vampire assassins. But here is the village breeder. We'll actually go down in here and let me show it to you. That's pretty cool right there. But we pushed all the villagers in the from the village down here. Set up some doors. And normally I would just do one line of doors with this, but this time I did two. And what happens is the baby villagers go down there per normal, per normal. But if you, for those who watched Prince of Darkness, I have this setup over here where... I can control whether the ba villagers, once they grow up, go into with the others, or they get pushed off into this, where they land in water and get pushed that way. Where we have this lovely building, Lilith built. You come down in here, and we have a roundabout area for villagers. We cut this water off, though. And it will allow a villager to fall down here, which triggers the trap wire or trip wire, which puts a block over their head so the other villagers go around in a circle. So, check. We have feeding areas ready. Other than that, I've really just been mining and exploring the world. Ugh. God, those guys are loud. I hate that. Probably going to have to put a thing over there to make them quiet, but then 
I, I wish they would make a noise muffler for just villagers. But today what I want to do is I want to start on a different mod. We're going to need a dark gem, a book, and an apple. What we do, we take dark gem and cross it with apple, get the book ready. Now we need to go find a mob. Ooh, sheep will work. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. We give him the apple, right click him with it. Throw the book in that anomaly. And we now have the Origins of Darkness. Which is an instruction book to Evil Craft. Really great mod. Really fun. Really, really becomes extremely overpowered almost later on. But that's fine. Let's see. Well, let's see what all we need for this. Let's see, there's the preface, structures, ah, uh, ages. We got dark or dark evil dungeons. We found dark temples. Ah, uh, that's dark temple. Evil dungeons. Yeah, not really a problem. And gather weather, which is cool. Uh, benefits of that. It's pretty much just a bunch of things you can do with the dark gems and other items that you get, like poison. These poison sacks and poisonous potatoes can be used to make a bucket of poison. Great defense. Yes, there are werewolves, another fish. Oh, that would be great to get a broom. But what we need is to start getting into the dark tanks and other ways of collecting blood. And I know one of the first best tools to get for that grab some iron. Need to mix a red, a dark gem, and was it not iron? Uh, where was it? Like this. Ah, okay, it is, but you gotta do it a certain. There we go. Now we need glass. Uh, looks like any type. Now, you might be wondering, what is the point of this little item right here? Uh, there's multiple uses for it. It holds 5,000 millibuckets of blood. One thing you can do with it is you can set it to where when you kill stuff, it automatically absorbs blood. And also, if something falls to its death in this world, it'll leave a blood stain. That's kind of cool looking. You can shift right click the blood stain and pull it into here. Let's go kill some stuff. Because we need blood. Now, I think what I'm going to do is come over here and kill any villagers I find. Because of the fact that this village is awfully close to where the village breeder is. And I don't want to risk it having any effect on it. Ooh, a heart. Nice. Getting some of these weak human hearts from villagers. Look, we've almost filled this up. Mm 
full yet? Almost. See? Golly, this is taking forever to fill up. Don't hear any more villagers. Oh, I heard one. Let's kill that sheep. There we go. Alright, let's head back home. Gotta be careful, though. sleep real quick now the cool thing is with that's right here we can make several items with this blood um, one item we can make is or is it I know I saw one in here right here a dark power gem you can infuse it with blood to turn it into that. Um, if you do not have ways of infusing like they're showing, you can place out six. You can. What you can do, I'll show you. Because <clears throat> we actually do need to do this anyway. And I need a flint. We need a flint and steel real quick. All right. Now, what you can do is, I'm only going to do it with a one block, but you if you do it with six blocks, you can place the blood out and throw one of these into, it's like five or six spawn blocks of this, or source blocks of blood, and it will transform them into a power gem. Now, we already have a power gem, so we don't actually need it right now. Yeah. Might as well try it. Another thing that you're able to do with this blood is it. Oh, there it goes. Five of them. There we go. Is you can let it dry. We need more blood. If you let it dry. Then you can break the block that it becomes with a flint and steel. And get some very useful, needed items. <coughs> now, 5,000 millibuckets is not much. Uh, to be honest, it's only 5 buckets of blood. So this thing does not hold very much. We will have to upgrade to something that holds more. And that is a different mod. So that blood doesn't help us. I'm about halfway full. Now, while we're here, we are actually going to go ahead because there is something we can do on the mod, on these mods, that will take about half an hour. We're going to go ahead and trigger that. We're going to take one of these vampire things and prick ourselves with it, giving us poison and sanguinary. Sanguinary vampirius. Okay, it's 20 minutes. I'm also going to craft a different weapon. Get me wrong, the hammer is great, but this weapon we're going to craft has a added benefit to it. i clear my inventory up a little bit. <laughs> and what this status effect is that lasts for 20 minutes is it's going to turn us into a vampire. So we're going to go ahead and make that change over. Stick and I never can see. There we go. I'll make us a special sword. Take the fangs, and they do have to be vampire fangs. There is another set of fangs in here that are smaller, 
look the same. They're from the same mod. Now, we'll move the, that there, the book there. And what this, what it'll happen with the sword leech is it will also absorb blood from things we kill. So this will actually get us blood on two fronts for two different mods. Now, granted, this leech is nowhere near as strong as the hammer. Literally, it's seven points weaker. But this sword can hold 100 points of blood, and once we fill it up, there's a really good use for it once we are a vampire. And leech can be enchanted where the hammer can't. Although, it may lose this enchant once we use it for its other purpose. We've got about 20 levels. Don't have any books yet. We do have an enchanting area. I'll show it to you. We put that advanced enchanting table we got up there. There's no bookshelves up there yet, though, so... We need things to kill. Am I going to have to kill all the sheep around here just to get blood? <sighs> Die. At least I'm getting wool. Oh, hello! Ow, we got poisoned. Uh, sadly, once we are a vampire, our magical cap will no longer keep our hunger. Well, I don't believe. Just get a... No, we didn't get a heart. I saw one, though. Oh, that was one of the effects of the amulet thing I have on. When I, I have water walking. When I stand on water, I move really fast. This came in very handy for exploring the world. And if I hold shift, I will sink in the water, and I have water breathing. So... Really great item. It also doubles as a infinite water bucket, which I wouldn't have built. I wouldn't have crafted it myself because it's uber expensive to make. So I never have made it before. And there are other item. There's other infinite water buckets in the mods we're using. Let's. Oh, I don't want to fight these guys. These guys are a pain. Had a hundred blood on that. Before on that, so let's head back to base. Uh, portal gun. All right, now I do have both portals set up in my house, so it doesn't matter which one I actually use to get back. There we go. Now we really need this blood to dry out. It usually doesn't take long. While we're waiting, we are going to go ahead and start getting things ready for when we are a vampire, finally. One thing we are going to need is a new bed. Let's see. Now the new bed is done with a recipe like this. Doesn't matter what kind of planks you use or what color wool you use. We get a coffin. Yeah. And for this, let's go. Man, we'll come right here. Uh, nope, never mind. We won't do it there. That just comes out too close to the surface. Come down a little further. Get right here. All right. Simple, elegant, easy. Put the coffin right there. 
And what that'll do is that'll allow us to sleep during the day to turn at night. Now, that is actually the reason we don't have the Morpheus mod on here, as y'all heard me and Lilith discussing last time. And that is because the Morpheus mod, even if you sleep in a coffin, triggers it to turn to day. So, not really useful when you're trying to turn it to nighttime. Alright, we got some sheep blood, some cow blood. Don't do us no good yet. There is another mod though that, by well, the mod that those are from. Oh, look! The blood dried. Hardened blood. Now, right click it with a flint and steel, and you get hardened blood shards. Now, uses for these. You can use it as dye, red dye. But, you get eight of them, surround a dark power gem with them, and you can create the Blood Infusion Core. You can also make this really cool Vengeance Pickaxe, uh, which has Fortune 10 on it. But it does require dark sticks, which are undead planks and dark gems. Kind of expensive, but... Be alright. Put some more blood out here because we need eight of these. At least. Actually, I want to show you what I want to do with them. Because yeah. as you can see, you can use this to use it to make this. I'm not really worried about that. I want a blood infuser and a blood chest. As you can see, there is quite a few things you can do with that item. For Evil Craft, that is a must-have item. And it just looks really cool because it looks like a, nether, a darkened nether star. Oh, there's some vampires out there. Oh, let's grab... Uh, I don't know where I want to put that at yet. I can't even use it until I become a vampire, though. That is a item that you put leech in once it's full, which it is, and once you're a vampire. Ooh, 11 minutes left. Oh. Invisible man, invisible man. Oh, God, I hate those guys. Luckily, you can get away from him down here. If I die with this effect on me, I lose it and have to start all over again. And invisible men, invisible men hit like a truck. I do have an idea or something that might help us here. Got this obsidian here. We happen to have a mod on here that allows us to make some rather interesting armors. Like... Any vanilla block can be turned into an armor. So let's see how obsidian does. Take the cobble off, throw this on. It's better than the cobble. What's the helmet looking like? I throw the helmet on. Ah, eh, not the best obsidian armor I've ever used. To be honest, uh, just gonna throw that out there. I've used some. Usually, if I use obsidian armor, it is at least on par with uh, diamond. So, kind of disappointed in that. But we'll deal with it. As you see, we got some netherrack boots in here, uh, silver, which are from a different mod. We got dirt, like dirt armor on here. Now, the way you tell if an invisible man's around is when he gets close to you, he starts smoking. So, there he is. Come on. Come on. K. 
killed him. I do want to check over here because once we get inside, I'll check him really good and see if we got it. He does have a weapon that he will drop on a rare chance. And the problem is, is the weapon is invisible. So you literally have to scroll over your hotbar or every item spot you have to see if you can get it. Let's see. That's enough for one of these. Okay, we need some more. Some more blood. Die, sheep. Ow, ow, ow. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. Those are some traps. Mobs kept gathering around the villagers. So I put some traps in. That I picked up while out exploring. Alright. Boy. It's this is a dangerous world. I do have a red matter furnace in here as well. All right, let's get the other one of these. All right, now we just need some cobblestone and some planks. That and that. All right, now what these items do for those who are not familiar with this, this chest, you can put blood in it, and it will actually repair your items. There is a chance that it will put a negative status effect on them. Uh, we'll actually be getting a better one later. And yes, I know, we have the repair talisman, but that's okay. This blood infuser, put blood in, starts out, it can hold two blood extractors worth. That's 10 buckets. But you can use it to say infuse oh, a dark gem with blood. There's also other things you can infuse. You eventually gain the ability to transmute one item into another. Like you can turn bones into oh, what was it you could turn bones into? I want to say blaze rods? That suck. You can transform a bone into a blaze rod. Now, it does require a promise of tenacity 3, which is a... The promise of tenacity is a tiered item. This is the final tier of it. So, expensive as can be. Also, it ups the capacity to 640 buckets of blood that it can hold. We need better supply of blood. Let's see. Got one raw cooked chicken in there. Is that all the raw chicken we have? I'm gonna say it probably is. I think we need two to do what I want to do. Let's check. Don't want it cooked. Yeah, I need two raw chickens. So let's go find some chickens in a minute. Uh, we want a tank, a dark tank as well, because this will allow us to hold greater amounts of blood. We need iron, glass, and gems. Going to make the small one because, uh, yeah, I don't have enough gems and iron to make this big one. Now, the great thing about these are is you can take two of these, put them in a the crafting table together, and make one that holds... Like, if I combine two 16 uh, buckets ones, 
I get a 32 bucket one. So, it's actually a really good item. And you can actually hold more than just blood in it. You can hold... You can hold any liquid in the game in it, actually. You can fill it up with water. You can fill it up with lava. You could fill it up... If you have tinkers on here, you can fill it up with any of the molten items. 16, 16, 32. What this does is I can place it right here. Shift that. Any blood I put in there will pump into here. We need more blood. And we have three minutes till we become a vampire. Ooh, hard to believe it's already been almost 20 minutes. Oh. I don't know why my sprint isn't working. We need to find... A chicken. That's what we need to find. If we can find a chicken, we'll be good. As long as we can get a chicken breast off of it. Oh, tangleweeds. Ugh. Oh, and that flower right there is twisted, too. These will light you on fire. These do damage. Oh, hello, villager. It's time for you to die. Just want a chicken. Same butt chickens. That's just the way it goes. The minute you're looking for a mob, it's nowhere to be found. Chicken. Yes. You got a chicken breast. Portal home. It's night. And we don't want to die. And there goes that spot. Uh, right there. Alright. Now I can show you why I wanted a second chicken breast. We'll organize all this later. We are going to need a couple of items. We need this. Ow. Ow. Oh. oh, God. I forgot I had those garlic torches around. We're going to have to break those. All right, now we are in a bit of a mess because, yeah... We can't go to our door right now. We'll be alright though. While we're doing this, we're going to make a few other items as well that we are going to need. How do these gilded stand up? Let's see. Four. Yeah, same strength. We need the egg, chicken breast, one more bone. 
bone mill. All right. Bone, blank egg, and two chicken breasts. We get two chicken spawn eggs. All right. We should be safe there. I know I've got some torches around other places as well. But we'll be all right. We'll be all right. In fact, right now, we're only a level one vampire. Now, let me show you what I look like. Don't I just look lovely? The more different red on my eyes, the red mouth. But the benefit of being a level one vampire means we're still not hurt by the sun yet. See? Sun, no problem. As we progress up in levels, we the sun will become an issue, though. Yes, we have a garlic farm here. But, that is okay. Now, the chicken spawn eggs are because we're going to need a chicken farm, to be quite honest. But before we get on that, we are going to need to gather some food. We can no longer eat normal food. Glass. We need some rotten flesh. Uh, ah, rotten flesh. Good, 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 good. Glass. We need to make some special bottles. Seven of them should be good. As you can see, it's just an addition of rotten flesh. These are unstackable, which is annoying as can be. Alright, now let's go get some... That was annoying. Let me go get some food. Now, as we progress up in vampire levels, as I've said... Things will be a little bit different. We'll gain some really good buffs. I need to see what one particular control is. For the mod. All right. Uh, oh, that wasn't it. Never can remember these controls. Except for the feed button. I always can remember that one. That's how you do it. Shift right click. Oh, don't worry. We're about to go feed now. As you see, we also do get more hearts. Oh, there's a vengeful spirit here. That's going to be annoying. Gotta wait for that vengeful spirit to go away. Wait a minute. I know a way around that. Let's put some blood in us. Let's see. There's a special torch that will keep them from spawning. We'll sacrifice some dark stones to uh, keep them from happening. Because that'll just speed up the process if we don't have to deal with them. Alright. Uh, where do I go? That's called block. 
Uh, that'll leave us with one dark gem left, though, sadly. Could that be any kind of torch? No, it has to be undead wood. All right. That's not actually that hard to get, though. Where did I put my shears at? Oh, lovely. Did I lose my shears? Oh, wait. They're in my hand. Alright. Die. We just need to go grab an item from the desert. Luckily, the desert's not far from us, it's just right over here. Yay! And that's what we need, a dead bush. We only need the one, and I will show you why. Let's put that in there. Use. Well, it takes 2,000, so let's infuse that. It's going to take our last dark gem, though, to make. But, eh, I'm okay with that. Probably be a good idea. We got this blood poultice, which is soup like super bone now. Excuse me. We'll try it on this. There we go. Look at this undead tree. And it drips blood. Now, the reason you only need one shrub or dead bush is because this tree drops dead bushes instead of saplings. So, we're good there. At least we're going to get four of those. Sticks, which means ooh, we get four of these torches too. Uh, let's see. Now I don't think we have the items anymore to make the pickaxe. It's okay though. This will just allow us to be able to get food now easier, hopefully. Now. I really need to make some long fall boots. We got like two different, no, three different versions of them on here. There we go. Perfect. Now, they aren't going to take be a problem. What is y'all's malfunctions? How oh, they both became vampires. <laughs> Get 
give me your blood. We really just get a baby. Die. Did we run out of villagers? Oh. Hello? Sir? Kindly move along if you're not going down the hole. Come on. Oh, these villagers. They're annoying, but they do make a good snack. No. Sadly, we don't have any special abilities yet. By the end of the episode, which will be, sadly, sooner than later, I do want to at least uh, progress one level higher as a vampire. Hello, are you coming? Oh, looks like he's stuck for now. Alright, we got enough food for right now. So let's go progress up a level. Oh, look! Vampire hunters. We've killed enough villagers that these guys are after us now. Now, if I die to one of them, I lose a level as a vampire hunter. That's sad. But, oh well. Easily get home this way. Hehe, <laughs> bypass them. Alright. Now, the chicken spawn eggs, as I think I've already said, I'm going to use those to set up an egg farm. If I haven't said that already, then that's what I'm doing with them. Get some blood in position. And we need glass for the next item. Because... We need to make this guy. Iron, gold, and glass. One gold. Need. Yeah. While we're here, let's grab this and some coal. We need this blood coal will come in handy as well. And I'll show you why here in a minute. First things first, let's do this, this, and this. Second thing, let's do this, and this. There we go. These are blood-infused ingot mix. We smelt these. And I'm hoping this will be a better armor than what we have. Because, quite frankly, I can't use the magic cap anymore. So, that's three bars left over. Yeah, two pieces of armor right here and we're already almost better, or almost equal to that armor. So that happens when we add the boots in. Yeah, we, three pieces of armor and we have surpassed the obsidian armor. And I want y'all to see what this armor looks like, just in case it looks cool. It may not look cool. But am I? 
vampire hunters are going to be annoying. Especially since the use of this is not advised inside. Well, at least inside a burnable structure. Like this place is. Ah, cool. Helmet. By the way, good warning. Do not combine with mithril armor or you will be withered. If I combine this with another armor in the game, it will wither me. And I'm getting a speed and haste. Nice. How do I look? Kind of wicked. We're going to throw this on our decorative slot, though. Now these fools won't know what hit them. Oh yeah, you vampire assassins are not nearly as tough now. Yes, and these things that look like villagers are vampire hunters. And no, I cannot feed on them. They are sickly OP in strength. Got them guys cleared out now. Yeah, this armor is awesome. Got a Vampire Assassin Blade. It's got a starting out 10.5 attack damage. It's almost broken, but it'll repair in time in our inventory. Got some Human Hearts, which will come in handy later. Later. Filled this up with blood. So we can finally fill this up. And then... Should be able to... Yeah. Just right click that and we can fill that up. Alright. Now, before we end the... Maybe I'll just... Yeah, I know where I'll take them to do this at. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, this nice, lovely tower here. It'll work. Here. We haven't put bookshelves in yet, so we're fine. All right, we place this out. Uh, I don't know why it's missing part of the picture, but there we go. As I fill it up, it will... Let's see. Not enough. We need to fill this thing up more. Yay! Sadly, this is using my food supply. Uh, here we go. Ow, ow. As you can see, I now have another heart. I'm a level 2 vampire. And I still have no abilities. Uh, there's still some blood in this. If we can get more. I don't want to put my last bottle in. Sadly, there's nothing around we can feed on. Except the villagers and the breeder. <laughs> Did he ever fall down here? Come on, dude. Come on. Oh. Okay. You wanted down here, huh? 
Ah, uh, you're a vampire villager. Hi. Die, 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 die. Perfect. More blood. Oh good, we're still not affected by the sun. Now that's the problem with uh, progressing up as a vampire. You eventually do start getting uh, debuffed by the sun. In a way. Not full enough. Okay, well, that's fine. We obtained one vampire level. That is enough for now. I do want to thank everybody for watching because this is all the time I have for recording today. If you liked what you saw here, go ahead and hit that like button down below and let me know. Uh, you know the rest. If you want to see more videos by me, you know what to do. I do, again, want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.